Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the house of Joseph. I am Joseph, it's really, really lovely to meet you if you're new here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So then guys, should we dive straight in? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to... Um... I am just very, very clumsy, so do forgive the crashing and the bangings if you hear any today. We're gonna to be looking at the ELF, um, what's this called again? Soft Glam uh, Satin Foundation again. However, today I'm gonna to be giving you a little tip to make this last all day. So guys, what will you need in order to um, to affect this um, this technique? You'll need your Elf Halo Glam, uh, Soft Glam, do I get it right? <laughs> the Soft Glam Foundation by Elf, or indeed any other liquid foundation, and you'll also need a powder foundation. And this one, today I'll be using the Max Factor um, Face Finity Compact. This is a lovely foundation. In fact, it's my favorite, my go-to for dates and special occasions and stuff like that. You will also need something to apply the liquid foundation with. So either a little sponge or um, a, a foundation brush, something like um, just a domed foundation brush or a paddle brush like this one will do just as good or as well. And lastly, guys, a jug with some water in. So should we press on? Let's do it. So what you need to do, guys, is open up your compact foundation. This is uh, Face Finity in shade natural. Get your sponge and we're gonna wet the sponge using um, just our jug with just tap water in. No special water needed. Make sure that the sponge is soaking wet. So give that a good ring in there. You can see that's really, really wet now, can't you? Just put that down, that is just... I told you how clumsy I was, didn't I? <laughs> that whole lot of water's just gone all over the floor. So, <laughs> typical. Right, should we not inter interrupt this video though, because I'm a, a consummate professional at the end of the day, I am. And you've got places to go to, haven't you? Rather <laughs> than me trying to dry up a great big puddle of wet, it's quite close to the electrics as well, so it all suddenly sizzles and explodes and you know why. Um, itchy ear, I've just had a hot bath. And why do I always get itchy ears every time I've had a hot bath? A mystery, but right. So we'll get some of this on the um, on the sponge, and this is the sponge that the foundation came, that, that came with the foundation. There's quite a bit there, and this is very similar to the technique I've shown you already on how to make a, a foundation last 24 hours. You just use a pressed powder in that instance. However, today we're going to be using a powder foundation, a little bit more coverage, but uh, predominantly a lot more lasting, um, what sort of length of wear power or lasting staying power. So just get your sponge and just start applying on the sides of the schnuffter. And by soaking the, the sponge, guys, well, you, you know what this is going to do to the foundation now, don't you? have seen enough of my videos to know how what a beautiful finish this will give. So now we have one layer of the Max Factor Face Finity Compact Foundation in Shade Natural on the, the, the face uh, applied with a soaked sponge. Let's have a look at that. Oh, wow. You can see it's bonded with my skin, can't you? You can. Um, it's given me that seamless sort of um, second skin sort of look, which is, it, it is what you're after. Um, and it's just perfected my skin, but without looking like makeup, hasn't it? Anyway, so should we now go in with a layer of the um, the Soft Glam foundation? And for this, I might just use my um, my paddle brush, as I said at the start of the tutorial. I must go and get some more water because the the water that was existing is now all over the floor. So both of these foundations are medium to um, full coverage and uh, what's the word, long lasting. So right, let's put some of him on, and I'm just going to soak the end of that brush. Just get the rest of that water on there. Off. Don't do what I do and block them on your box of shorts because well, if that's if you wear box of shorts, of course, right, let's put a blob of him on there. And this time we're going to go exactly on top of the uh, where we put the powder foundation. So let's just get some of that elf onto my brush, my soaking wet brush. And I think you guys will be stunned by the um, the results this this combination gives. Right. Very very sheer but beautiful nonetheless with a lovely satin glow. I didn't like this foundation when I um, when I reviewed it. I didn't. Um, I didn't know what all the fuss was about and it went viral, didn't it? Perhaps it's because it's Elf or it's got words in it like satin and long lasting. I, I don't really know, but I, I, I didn't like it. I wasn't a fan of the foundation. Let's get a little bit more onto my brush. Hope you're all okay, beautiful ones. 
sorry, my, my filming's a bit sporadic at the minute, but um, I'm working full time now, so yeah. And then I'm just going to buff that in, so that's a circular sort of not the easiest thing to do in the world with a paddle brush, but it can be done, guys. Just small circular motions. And this will give your skin the most um, gorgeous, perfected look, but it won't look like you're wearing any makeup at all um, because the water's dealt with the, the chalkiness and the powderiness that most um, most foundations could, could you know, provide or um, suffer with. Although, um, and then particularly, in particular, powder foundations, but by soaking the sponge first, we've eliminated most of that powderiness. Um, and even some liquid foundations can be quite powdery looking too, particularly long wearing ones can be quite mattifying. So, um, so that's the finished result. What's up with me today, guys? So this is the finished result. What do we think? And this will last all day now, possibly all night too. So 48 hours, no, 20, yeah, 40, 24, 48. Never been any good at maths, but what do you reckon to that? And with that, we put um, a powder foundation down first, a medium coverage powder foundation, followed by a medium coverage um, liquid foundation. Can you see the end of my nose? It's really glowing, isn't it? Just looks really, really natural, doesn't it? Um, and wow, yeah, I'm really, really impressed by this. So. And if your skin ever starts to look a bit flat because it's, it's got so much product on it, just go in with a blush. This is actually a satin uh, blood red lipstick. So just put a dot there. We don't need very much of that at all. I'm going to dot there. And then just blend with the brush, which will remove quite a bit of the, the, the lipstick from your cheeks, but will leave a beautiful wash of colour behind. Just give you that flush, just coming from outside sort of look, which is going to be really big this winter, I think. Bring it up on, onto, onto the bridge of your shenufta or your nose. And finally, just put some on the forehead, just above the eyebrows, just to give you that beautiful, flushed finish. What do you reckon to that now? So guys, if you have, uh, if you found your perfect liquid foundation, although it doesn't last as long as you would like it to, simply go in with a, um, an application of a powder foundation first, trying to hold it properly, <laughs> using a soaked sponge and then follow with your foundation using a damp sponge and you will, um, you, you'll get basically this look as well. A little bit of blush will just bring dimension back to the, to the skin and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Just a very, very short one today, guys. I had this idea yesterday about how to, um, you know, to, to move on for, away from just using a pressed powder. So I thought, well, why, why can't we use a, a powder foundation? Using the soak sponge method will make it ultra natural on the skin. It will also help the foundation bond with the skin, giving you that bit more um, longevity of wear. It will also provide a really, really nice um, base for the, the liquid foundation acting as a primer. Uh, and you know how I feel about primers, don't you guys? Although I would use this method all the time if, if I wore makeup, which I don't, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I did, then I, I would utilize, and I'll certainly use this on clients, where I don't have any clients, although I only work on YouTube. So that was a redundant statement, wasn't it? But I better go now, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Similarly, do consider subscribing, hit the notifications button to also be notified each time I release new videos. All that remains is for me to wish you guys a gorgeous weekend. Have a wonderful week next week, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.